one a cleared option for 734 Juliet. He's got to hear cleared option. Okay. He's got to hear cleared land back. You have to read those back. Those are the most important things to read back. That means we can actually land now. Okay. Cleared option, cleared to land. Those are two clearances. But now we can actually do our touch and goes. Okay. Clear prop. Yeah. So we're gonna take off. Yep. Sweet one seven. All right. Check our our brakes. Okay. All right, my controls. All right, your controls. Your controls. Okay, my controls. I want you to set up the GPS. Okay. My controls. All right. So and we're um so we put in K L I T. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to be going over to Adams Field, which is a towered airfield today. And uh, am I going to make the radio calls, or are you going to make the radio calls? What do you want to do? Um, I I can I can start. Okay. And then, if and things then, get sketchy, yeah, I'll help you out. You, you can take it away. Is this going to be your first time talking to actual ATC? I think so. And if you if you need help, I'll be there. So okay. don't worry. So I got KL KL ITN. Does you need to hit enter? Yep. Okay. Work right there. Yeah, this looks good. All right. All right so I'll run up. Brakes are set. Fuel is on the proper tank on the left one. Already checked that. Um, trim for takeoff. That's fine. All right, let's check our flight controls. Uh, can't, there we go. My God, I can't know if my. You're probably gonna have to scoot back one notch. Okay. All right. Okay. Your right. controls. Okay. Flight controls. Guys with lights. Alright, we gotta check our instruments, so we're gonna run up to, to 2,000 yep. RPMs, check the vacuum. Sounds good. All and right. one, a little bit more. Okay. And what, yeah, there you go. A little bit more. And what should this be, roughly? I think about five, is that yep. right? Okay. okay. Alright, then we're gonna back it back to about 1,800. Okay. That right there, look okay? Yep. Alright. Now we need to, uh, we're gonna check our mags. We're gonna go left first. So two clicks to okay. the left. Make sure we don't drop less than uh, 170, 175. Yep. So what did it drop? So I think, was that just about... E uh, each tick is 100. Oh, so then about, about 100 then. Okay. All right, so we're going to go all the way back to right. That's both. Okay. And then bend back one click. Okay. About 100, so it had to be a 50 apart. Yep. So back to both. All right. Now. One other thing, when we're when we're spun up like this, this is a this is really the best time to slave because okay. um, we've got actual pressure on the vacuum system. Gotcha. It's it's good, but okay. um, it's best to slave with the engine at a higher RPM because that vacuum is spinning the gyros. Okay. And All then right. check your other stuff, and we're All good right. to go. Okay. All that looks good. All right, so we're going to check the car. Move the car beat. We'll okay. Car beat out. If it doesn't die. I hope we're just looking for a drop right now. And then we'll check the idle. Okay. So, we'll pull that to idle? Yep. We want it to drop with the carb heat on. Right. Okay. Got to go. Carb heat is back. Back to about 1,000 RPMs there. All right. Our fuel pressure is good. Oil pressure is good. If we were at a high density altitude like Colorado Springs, we would lean the mixture before we did that test as well. Okay. Oil temperature is... That's good. It's all right. All right. That's fine. Pre lock is fine. All right. Pre takeoff is done. Make sure set the best power. Fuel pump is on. Our heat is off. Play the compass. All right. Can we get the doors and windows in just a second? Yep. Doors and windows are locked and latched. Okay. Closed on my side. The landing light is on. That transcender set to alt. Time is 8:15. Ready to take off. I'm ready. All right. What does alt give me? Uh, so doesn't that allow um, don't, doesn't that allow them to see us on, on radar without or, so or, or at least our alt is mode C. Okay. What do we need today to get into class Charlie? Um, we need mode C. We need mode C. Okay. So we want that to be an alt per. If we're just piddling around, we could just operate in on. There's no sense. We should always yeah, operate in alt, in my opinion. But we definitely need alt to go into class Charlie. Okay. And then our ADSB, you can just leave those on dim. Okay. That's what turns this tail beacon on, so gotcha. dim's good enough for this. Okay. Um, and then when we when we depart, are we going 
We're gonna make a right turn out just Gordon, like we always do. Gordon Mall Mel, just like yep. we normally would. Okay. All right. Let's take up as much runway as possible too. Okay. Stop right here. Our ball. North Little Rock traffic. This is Cherokee seven three four eight Juliet, departing runway one seven North Little Rock. Line is clear. Roger. And there's no reason to stop. Just okay. yeah, do what you're doing and take up as much runway as possible. Clear. Roger. Here we go. Let's go. All pressure is good. Roger. Fuel pressure is good. Airspeed's coming alive. And we're off. We're off. Beautiful day. It is. All these thunderstorms stay to the north of us. What's in front of us right here? Uh, that is the Clash Charlie airspace. Yeah. So we need to make a right turn. Clear right. Clear. I don't want to rush you. I just don't want to go into there without uh, right. two-way. Right. Okay, after takeoff checklist. Don't forget right, that. so fuel pumps off. Landing lights are off. After takeoff... Uh, and check your fuel pump pressure when you do that and flaps. Okay, flaps are, flaps are down. Flaps are up. Pressure. Oh, flaps are up. I'm sorry. It, it confuses my mind. I know, because it's itself. on the floor. Yeah, yeah, flaps are up. All right, after... Takeoff checklist is complete. Awesome. I feel like this squelch. I feel like this needs to be turned down a little bit. The sensitivity. One of us is. Oh, there we go. That was you. This is the sensitivity of our mics. Gotcha. So if it's always like staticky, you can okay. turn the sensitivity down right here. Okay. Okay. My controls for a second. Your control. My controls. I'm climbing out of 75. Camp Robbins traffic. Cherokee 7348 Juliet, two miles to the south, transiting west, 1,200, climbing 1,800, Camp Robinson. All right. Okay, when well, you're ready. Booger's on. Okay, before I hand you the controls, I want you to contact me as if I'm Little Rock Approach. Okay. And tell me you want to go to Adams Field, and you have information alpha. Same like we always do, where you are, okay. at the altitude and everything, okay? All right. But we're not going to actually go there quite yet. We're going to come out here, but I want you to talk to me like you would. Okay. Uh, Little Rock Approach, this is Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Cherokee 7348 Juliet, Little Rock Approach, go ahead. Uh, we are at 1,500 feet, um, two miles to the south of Camp Robinson, inbound for Adams Field with information alpha. Little Rock Approach. Don't say Little Rock Approach at the end, other than that, that is pretty good. Okay, so you, so you do, so you start with it, but you don't have to end with it? Is that right? Exactly. Okay. You, yeah. Okay. Uh, aircraft calling, say again. Um, and I just say, air, aircraft calling, say call sign. Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Good. Cherokee 7348 Juliet, squawk 0223, altimeter 2909 or 7. Squawk 223. 0223. 0223, altimeter 2997. Good. 7348 Juliet. So that's so I would end with, with my call. Instead of starting with it with a response, yes. I would end with it after yes. the instruction. Okay. All right, you ready to take over? I think so. All right. Alice controls, your controls. My controls. Your controls. All right. Turkey, 7348 Juliet. Radar contact, three miles west of Camp Robinson. Then left heading 270. Left heading 270-7348 Juliet. Cool. And if that didn't check with him, like you weren't three miles west of Camp Robinson, then you'd be like, okay, maybe that's not me. Okay. Do you, you, know, to, do you actually want me to make that heading? Yeah, 270 okay. is good. Okay. All right, Cherokee 7348 Juliet, climb and maintain 2500. Climb and maintain 2500, Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Very good. Yeah, climb at 75. I'm eyes outside. Turkey, 7348 Juliet. I, you don't have to actually look outside when I say this, but Turkey, 7348 Juliet. Uh, traffic is a Cessna 172, two miles, one o'clock. Altitude indicates 3000. Let's say you see him. Uh, traffic in sight, 7348 Juliet. Good. What if you didn't see him? Um, looking, 7348 Juliet. Searching. Searching, okay. Looking's fine, but searching's better. Gotcha. Good. Turkey, 7348 Juliet, uh, turn right heading 360. Right heading 360, 7348 Juliet. 
I want to get the camera to get a, kind of a look at this, but there's like a haze line um, just north of us here. That's really interesting looking. Continue that climb to 2,500. Okay. Check out your ball. Check out your ball. Make sure you're, you're given plenty of right letter pressure there for those slow airspeed, high power settings. Okay. All right, Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Uh, turn left, heading 270. Uh, left heading 270. Climb and maintain 3000. Climb and maintain 3000. Turkey set 3 and 4 Juliet. Very good. Now remember, we're simulating instrument conditions, so 30 degrees is about the max you want to go on one of those. Okay. Here's another interesting tool for you. See this guy right here? Right. This is a turn coordinator. If you put the wing on that notch right there, okay. that left notch, yep. If you do that and you stay on there like that, that will turn you all the way around 360 degrees in two minutes. Okay. That'll come into play later when you start working on your instruments. Gotcha. Um, but that's something handy later on in your training. But it's something to be aware of at least. If ATC says, hey, can you can you make this turn 360 degrees in about two minutes? You say, sure, I can do that. Gotcha. They just follow that guy right there. All right. Turkey 7348 Juliet. Turn left heading 180. Left heading uh, 180, Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Very good. We just got a couple things to do here. Okay. And then we'll head over to Adams for as many touch and goes as we can possibly get and then head back to North Little Rock. Sounds good. It's going to be kind of compressed when we get back to North Little Rock, um, but expect to enter like a right downwind for one set, land 17. Okay. So we'll basically truck straight. Uh, and then we'll land 17 when we come back in. That one will be a full stop when we come back in. But continue your climb here. So 3,000. So the first one, the, you said the first one uh, will be a full stop? Is that what you said? No, 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 no. So we're going to do touch and goes over at Adams. Oh, okay, when we come back to North Little yeah, Rock. Yeah, when we come back to North Little Rock, that one's going to be a full stop. We're not going to do touch and goes back. Gotcha. All right, Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Um, stop, climb, 3,000. Make right turn, 270. Uh, stop, climb, uh, 3,000. Uh, right, uh, right turn 270, Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Stop your climb for me. Okay. Go ahead and uh, pu start pulling your power back, get, you so get yourself set up at 3000. Okay. And um, my controls here. Your controls. You can take those off. Alright. When you're ready. Alright. Your controls. Your controls. Get me on a westbound heading and 3000 feet. Alright. 3000. Your controls. Westbound heading, my controls. Okay, so the first thing, let's go ahead and knock out a couple clearing turns. Okay, all right, so we're going to start to the left. Sounds good. All right, clear left. Roger. Mostly looking outside, remember. Sulphur Spring traffic air track to Rio Hotel Papa is final, runway 19, Sulphur Spring, full stop. All right, clear right. Clear. Okay, once we get over here on a westbound heading, go ahead and set us up for slow flight. Okay. For slow flight, we're just going to slow down like we're... Yeah, so... Uh, for, for, for landing around 60. Yeah, run your before landing checklist. All right, so before landing checklist, seatbelts are on, fuel is on the fullest tank, um, uh, carb heat's off, fuel pump is on, landing lights are on, make sure it's at the best power, or it's at the... Yeah. Best power. And um, so we're in the white arc, I'm going to pull the power back just a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to put in... Uh, all the flaps. Roger. All right. Pull back just a hair more. Catch up with us some of our airspeed. Very good. We're about about 60 knots. Yeah. So we're looking for the bottom of the white arc, which is about looks like about 52 knots. Okay. So you want to slow down a little more? Yep. I want to slow down to 52 knots, and that's what I want to fly. At the bottom of the white arc. That's our stall speed in the landing configuration, or VSO. Okay. So is that yeah, this is looking pretty good right here. Okay. Now notice, look at your vertical speed. We're, 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 descending. we're descending, so put that power in. Okay. So we're in the, um, we're at the backside of the drag curve, so what that means, once again, is your power for altitude, so we're still descending, power, 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 and pitching for airspeed. Just okay. like we were, okay. just like we are when we're landing. Because when we're landing, we're on the backside of the drag curve, too. Okay. And that's one of the advantages of doing slow flight. It actually helps you to control the airplane on final. Gotcha. Okay? So, um, 
Just keep us here at 2,800. I'm fine with that. Or, okay. Yeah, you know what? Just continue to climb back to 3,000, and let's make a right-hand turn to Turkey 7348 Juliet. Turn right heading 360. 360, Turkey 7348 Juliet. Clear right. Clear. Make a look. We're descending, so a little more power. And, yeah, this is looking good. So we're still, still descending a little bit. Yeah, you can pitch up. We're still... We're still fast, so that's part of the reason why we're descending. Gotcha. And you kind of have to use them together a little bit in weaker airplanes. And this is kind of an example of that. All right, Turkey 7348 Juliet, turn left heading 300. Left heading 300, Turkey 7348 Juliet. Pitch up just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, so see the turn coordinator right there? Yep. Um, when we're at these slow air speeds like this, it'll actually turn faster. I know that seems crazy, but um, so we actually have less bank than we did earlier. So I think I actually went to 270. You did. So 300, zero, zero, that's, I mean, is that 30? Yeah. Okay, we come back over there. I was intentionally distracting you. Okay. Well, it worked. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay, uh, Cherokee 7348 Juliet, turn left heading 270. All right, left heading 270. Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Okay. Once you set up on 270, I want you to go ahead and knock out a power, uh, power off stall. Our off stall, that's yep. going to be... Um, We're basically already set up because we've done the before landing checklist. Okay. Before I say anything else, what altitude do we need to end this maneuver? Um, is it is it uh, less than 1,500 feet? More than 1,500 feet AGL. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, I said less, but I meant more than I, I know. descending past 1,500 feet. All right, give me a power off stall. All right, so power off stall, we're going to pull the power. Okay. And... Um, yeah, pull the power, push down for 60 briefly, maintain this heading at 270. Okay. Idle power, okay. pitch for 60, get you on 270, come back left, there you go. All right. Now we're Once you hit it, raise the nose, and just keep this heading now. Not too high, where's the power off stall? Okay. Power. First notch RB flaps. Up, first, yep. first notch of flaps. Okay. Now what are we looking for? So looking for um, uh, climbing in altitude. We can go second notch of flaps. Okay. And as we continue to climb, and we, we can go third notch of flaps. Climbing in 70 knots. So okay. I didn't actually see a positive rate of climb yet. Okay. But now I'm starting to see it, so that you're good now. Gotcha. Okay, not too bad. Go ahead. I was I was really focused on trying to keep my heading. Not too so, bad. Your right. heading was good. All right, you're in the wide arc. Go ahead and lower all the flaps. Let's try that again. Okay. This time I want you to wait to the full stall. In the in a power off stall, it, she will break a little bit more okay. than what that was. All right. Uh, but we got the light. That was the first indication. We got buffeting. That was the second indication. Wait till she breaks this time before you recover. Okay. All right, go ahead and lower them. All right. Well, 2,500 will recover well below for, or well above 1,500. All right, all the flaps. All right, we're ready to go. All right, we're going to pull the power okay. out to idle. Pitch it for 60. Maintain that heading. Okay. Yeah, pitch it for 60. All right, now we're going to pull it. Up. Yeah, keep it here on 280 heading. This is fine. Okay. And just put it on the horizon. She'll stall right on the horizon. You don't need to go past it. A little more. Yeah, right there. All right. There's the first indication. I feel buffeting. Wait till she drops. That's good. Next power. All right. Don't forget your recovery procedures. All right. Car beats off. We get some. Yep. First notch immediately. First notch immediately. Okay. Not quite so nose high next time. Okay. All right. So. We got it. Yep. Second notch of flaps. And third notch of flaps. Pretty good. Uh, just be a little quicker on the first notch. Yeah, first notch and carve heat off, gotcha. and then I can't. I, I obviously can't feel what you're doing. If you think it, if the nose dropped, be a little bit more aggressive on pushing the nose over. That way, the the evaluator knows that you're breaking the stall. Just be a little bit more aggressive and just a little bit more like that. Okay. That, I mean, I know you relax, but really, it's breaking the stall, gotcha. and that's just my, be a bit more aggressive on. Yeah, that. be a little okay. bit more aggressive. Okay. Okay. Um, make a left turn to one one eight zero. All right, left heading one eight zero. Let's do a power on stall. Okay. Uh, I tell you what, let's make a let's make it all the way back around to east. 
Okay. So you want to do a power on stall? I do. Okay. All right. So flaps will stay down for this. Car beats off. Make sure still set. Seat belts are on. Feels like they're still on the correct tank. Uh, the left tank's the fullest one still. Gotcha. Fuel pumps on. Light lights are on. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna make sure car beats off. We're gonna pull the power. Okay. Uh, back to to idle. Yep. Lead off at airspeed. And what, this isn't really part of the procedure, it's just to get yourself slowed down. It just makes it easier. Gotcha. So pull it back, and I bleed off that airspeed. And those up so you can help help yourself bleed the airspeed off faster. Gotcha. Just right here. Right okay. here's good. And when you see stall indications, make sure you call those out. Okay, so do we need to put the power back in? Yeah, right here. Okay. Now, pitch up. Yep. All right, so there's the first indication. More right rudder. Okay. You need quite a bit when you're doing power on stalls like this. First indication, there's the wing bumping. A little bit more nose up. Okay. There it is. Break it. All right. Max. All right. That's pretty good. Okay. We lost our heading a little bit. You just got to be a little... My controls for just a second. Controls. Um, you just got to be a little more aggressive on the controls. Um, watch my ailerons for just a second here. Okay. I'm just going to pitch up right here. Because you can do it this way too. It's just way harder. Um, but you look at my controls. First indication. Second indication, there's a stall, break it, gotcha. down, gently start raising that back up. Okay. It just, you can see like my controls are going like this, it's very small but quick uh, control inputs. Are you ready to take back over? Uh, I think I'm ready. All right, your controls. My controls. Your controls. And you just lost your engine. Okay. All right, so we are going to uh, pitch for 69 knots. Okay. Right. Now we need to find a field. Uh, to land it, looks like there's a pretty big one back, back behind us. What about okay. that one? Okay. That one looks pretty good. Actually, I think there's a grass strip right there. You see it? That line in the trees to the right of it? Trees. Um, we got all these trees right here, and there's okay. a line of trees right beside uh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Let's head towards that. Okay. All right, so now we got fuel selectors on the right tank. The fuel pump's on. Primer set in and locked. Car heat's off. Mags are still on. We want to switch fuel tanks? Yeah, you can. Okay. Right tank. Okay. And what about this? If this was pulled out by accident... We would need to put that in. Yeah, we're not could that kill our engine? If it's pulled out, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right. Okay, so now what? Um, so now we would squawk 7700. Yep. Make our make our radio call. Uh, two souls on board, Mayday Mayday. We just lost our engine. Uh, landing in a field just uh, uh, south of uh, Lake Maumel. This is north of Montmel. I'm sorry. I'd say three miles north of Pinnacle. Okay. That's pretty easy. Okay. Okay, so before we continue, we're high, right? We are high. So what do we need to do we're to get down? Probably, we're, well, yeah, we can lower we're one notch of flaps. Okay. Yeah. There's one notch okay. of flaps. Okay, now continue what we're doing here. You can slip us if we need. Okay. Okay, keep going with me here. Um, so as we as we get to make sure our seatbelts are on for this landing, then as we get down, Right before we touch down, we need to open the door. Okay. And make sure we don't get that pin closed. Okay. And then right before we touch down, we're going to turn off all the uh, electronics in the airplane okay. as we touch down. Yep, and we want to turn off the ignition and stuff as well. Okay. Basically shut all the fuel off so we don't catch on fire or whatever. Right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. I want you to get set up to land. We're not actually going to land. Okay. I'm going to tell you to go around about. So we'll go for this grass strip right here by this row of trees. All right, so pitch up. You're not going to make that field if you don't use best glide. Okay. I can see right, I could see right now we were, we were sinking. Really fast. And it's really important that you use, use best glide. And I'm actually not sure that you're going to. Well, we'll see what happens here. Um, but I'll have you go around about 200 feet or so. There's no vehicles, no structures or anything like this. Okay. And this is a sparsely populated area out here. All right, now you're slow, so pitch down. Okay. I yeah. want to get as close to making this field as possible. So so are we going to land right here? Uh, you know, right here? Well, this? there's a grass strip to the right of these trees. Okay. Just yeah. be prepared for the go around. Just have your hand on the throttle for All the right. real world scenario here. What do you think? Would we make that? I don't think so. I think we actually would. Would we? It's close. All right, go around. Go around. All right. Fuel power. It would be close. All right. Fuel pumps off. Landing lights are off. Once we get a um, rate of climb here, we're going to wait this minute, then we're going to drop yeah. or put, put our flaps um, down, up. Put our flaps up. Yeah. So you 
you can see, I'm distracting a little bit here, you still got right. your flaps, wait till you get your 70 knots. Okay. But you can see how important it is to capture best glide. If, I, if you would have held best glide longer, we 100% would have made it. Yeah. And maybe we didn't want to lower that notch of flaps that caused us to sink yeah. more, so. And probably, I should have just done the slip yeah. that way because you can take it out and put it back in, take it out, put it back in, put, whereas the flap, it's, once it's in, it's pretty much in. Exactly. So. All right. All right. My controls. Your controls. My controls. I'm going to go ahead and lower this. Okay, now, I've, I'm going to start climbing up here. Because I want you to get the radio calls and to have all the brain bites necessary to do so, I'm going to have you make the radio call with Little Rock Approach. Okay. So first things first, let's get the weather. 125, 65 is the way. I'll, I'll walk you through it here. Okay. So, uh, yep. i do this right here. Yep. Take it to the frequency. And then uh, COM2. All right. Three zero. Wind 160 at 4. Visibility 10. Fuel clouds at 4,500. Ceiling 13,000 broken. 25,000 overcast. Temperature 24. 2.21. Altimeter 2988. Simultaneous visual approaches and use landing and departing runway 22 left. 18. Okay, landing 18. Emission. Oh. Runway 4 left 22 right closed. Taxiway Foxtrot between Taxiway Hotel and Atlantic Ramp closed. Attention all aircraft hazardous weather information for the Little Rock area is available on flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact. You have information Foxtrot. 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 Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah. Little Rock item field arrival slash departure information Foxtrot. Okay. One, two, five, you're kinda, two, yeah, zero. you're good now. I just want to make sure it's Foxtrot. Sometimes those, those things are kind of hard to understand. Okay. So we have Foxtrot. Okay. We have ADSB. It's on right now. Yep, on dim. Um, we're, we have a transponder. It's on alt. So we got mode C. Uh, let me climb up to 2000. Once I reach 2000, go ahead and give us another direct enter. And that'll give you a good distance. Right here? Oh, give me a direct. Oh, okay. So the bow and arrow. Yep. And once I hit 2000 here, you're cleared to contact them. When you contact them, just like you did for me, tell okay. them we're inbound for Adams, uh, the option tower. Oh, option tower, okay. Information Foxtrot. So, but just like we did before everything okay. else. So, and it'll be a uh, uh, Little Rock approach? Yep. Okay. Okay, well, my 9.5. Good luck, sir. Thank you, appreciate it. Little Rock approach, this is Cherokee 7348 Juliet. What run are we inbound for 1.8? Yeah. 7348 Juliet, Little Rock Approach. We are 14 miles uh, west of uh, Adams Field at 2,000 feet. Uh, looking for runway 18 with information Foxtrot. Oh, north, but that's okay. He should say Juliet, 0216. 0216. 0216. Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Good. We might have us ident. Direct here at 4318, uh, area of the marks, uh, heavy precipitation on your, uh, open at 12 o'clock, starting in about... Could you tell him uh, west, he might have us hide because he might be confused on where we are. That's okay. He's going to find us. Direct here at 4318, contact Memphis Center, 135.3. When he comes back and asks us what we want, tell him we want, uh, we want 1-8 option tower. Okay. Center 48 Juliet, radar contact, 1-3 miles northwest of Adams Field, Adams Center, 2989, say again, you're off to. 2989. One th 2,000 feet. 2,989, uh, 2,000 feet. Cherokee 73848, Juliet. Good. Before I do it, Roger, you can expect the right base for runway 18. 7348, Juliet. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, your controls. So, so you said right pattern, uh, 18. Right base, just like I said. In okay, the so we're going to just uh, enter in on the base. Yeah, down exactly. Okay. Very good, man. Very good. I'm pretty happy. He's kind of hard to understand. He bit. is, he is. It just takes some getting used to. But once again, uh, get us headed towards the field. That's that's headed. The purple line that is taking us directly to the field. Okay. It's not taking us to the runway we want. It's actually the centermost point of the runway, and that's gotcha. important to keep in mind. Gotcha. Um, so it's taking us right where this is. But we need to actually kind of bid to the left of that purple line just a touch. And remember, we need to say VFR. So we got a little, a few puppies out here. Okay. Um, we want to stay clear of. So when I said we were west of the field. What direction were we actually? We were actually in? northwest of the field. Oh, we were still somewhat west. Okay, so can we go in the airspace now? Um, no, we need to contact... Um, um, yes, we can. Okay, just kidding. That's a trick question. Okay. 
Um, that is our two-way radio communication with um, with approach. Now, if it was a, a Delta airfield, you would still need to contact the tower. Gotcha. Um, but in Class Charlie, uh, approach is is good to enter the airspace. So, is that considered a cloud? Yeah, that's a cloud. Okay. So, a couple of things for finding Adams Field. Actually, I see it right now. Usually, you'll see downtown over here, which you're headed directly towards. Gotcha. And then just left of downtown. And Adams is right on the river. So, it's just south of the river. Gotcha. So, like these clouds that we see right here, I mean, is this... Yeah, so that's what I was fixing to say. We want to stay out of those. Right. Because um, we need to... We're in class... Well, we're actually in class Charlie now, so we need to remain... We need a uh, 3152s. We need... Three statute miles visibility, we need to stay 2,000 feet horizontally, 500 feet below, or 1,000 feet above. Okay. And these are, like, pretty small, but still, we want to stay away from them as best as possible. Three kilo whiskey, descend, maintain 2,100. Okay. So, we're, we're going to make a base for 1.8, a right base, and we'll see. The elevation there is 266, so what's our pattern altitude? Pattern out to be 1,300 feet? Yep, 1,300. Right, three kilo whiskey. We'll just stay high for a little bit until we get past these clouds. Okay. Actually, climb up just a little bit to avoid, uh, to stay a little bit more, uh, 1,000 feet above these, best we can. Okay. I know they're really tiny puppies, but we want to be as legal as possible, so climb up just a little bit more. You can use the power to do that. And once we get past these, we'll descend down. And once again, it's difficult to judge like how high you are above stuff. Uh, All right. That's why it's good to like give yourself a little bit of a buffer. So go max power and climb up just a little bit more. Three kilo whiskey, Roger. IFR cancellation received. Squawk BFR for request to change approved. Thank you. And approach uh, seven three four and Juliet. We're climbing a little bit to avoid these clouds, and then we're going to descend back down to pattern altitude. Center four and Juliet, Roger. So I mean, I know it's the the rule. Not to fly through these. Enter a right base for runway 18. Contact Adams Tower 118.7. Right base for 18, 118.7. Cherokee 7348 Juliet. He's, uh, his, when he's saying our call sign, he's really difficult to understand. Enter 107 Cherokee Charlie. Okay, 118.7. Approach Roger. Hold for a loop. Right. Clear you to can go ahead and start headed down. Quebec Zulu okay. Airport. Okay. Head down to pattern altitude. Okay. I see the runway right up here. Kind of make a bit to the left there. Um, we're on with tower. Already switched us. Okay. So say, any time the first time you contact tower, you always say the full name first. So this is Adams Tower. This is not just tower. Okay. That way you know for sure you're on the right frequency. Okay. Sure. So Adams Tower, Cherokee 7348 Juliet, three miles to the north, entering a right base 18 option. Option tell them to, tells them you want the touch and goes. Adams Tower, Cherokee 7348 Juliet, three miles to the north. Making a right base for 1-8 option. Adams Tower, right? Yep. And I don't have to wait for them to come back? Nope. Okay. Adams Tower, this is Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Making a right base for runway 1-8 um, uh, uh, options. 7348 Juliet. Yeah, option. Cherokee 7348 Juliet, Adams Tower, runway 1-8 clear for the option. Or are you just going to do uh, pattern work? So 1-8 clear option, A firm. Adams Tower, uh, uh, Yes, we'll be doing pattern work uh, for 1-8. Thank you. Yeah, I messed that up. But You're fine. You got it. You need to come down. And 1-8 court option for 734 Juliet. He's got to hear... Juliet, thanks. He's got to hear cleared option. Okay. He's got to hear clear to land, back. You have to read those back. Those are the most important things to read back. That means we can actually land now. Okay. Cleared option, cleared to land. Those are two clearances. But now we can actually do our touch and goes. Okay. All right. It's nice to hear the words cleared to land. Yeah, cleared to land or cleared the option. Okay. So this is our runway right here. A-firm. Yeah, clear right. All right, clear right. Go ahead and run your checklist for me. All right, so seatbelts are on on the right tank. Fuel pumps on, landing lights are on, car heat is off. Fuel is best mixture. We're going to start pulling the power back just a little bit right here. Right, clear right. Clear right. And, and tower for a Juliet. Uh, just to confirm, you want us to do right patterns? Cherokee 4 a Juliet, A firm, on the go, uh, right turn. 4 a Juliet, thanks. Uh, he might have said that, like I had a brain part there and got gotcha. busy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, put oh. some claps in, you think? So yeah, never, so, never done okay, a here's a rule. We're about three miles out, because we go one, 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 okay. then we do pattern. So three miles straight in, it's the same thing. Okay. So, yeah. So good, so in the wide arc, first notch of flaps. Just the, okay. Yep. Okay. Carb heat staying off. off. 1500. 
take a look at our heading okay, here. We're getting blown over. Okay, so need to come back to the right. Yeah. All right. So still need to be pitching for for 60. Uh, or 70. Yeah, so you can pitch for 70 for now until we get on final, and then you can pitch for 60, just like before. Okay. Once again, if you're on, if you're, you know, being the numbers, you go out one, go over one, then back one. So three miles is the same thing. Gotcha. So this is what we consider crabbing, since we're flying yes. this direction toward the... Yes. Just to get back over towards center line. Yeah. Okay. All right, so at what point do we want to pull the second second notch of flaps on? So about two miles. Okay. So somewhere right in here. Okay, second notch of flaps. Pull the power back just a hair more. So pitch it for 70. Put about touch back in there. Keep coming right, so down. I feel, full I flaps. Feel, I feel like we're a little bit high here. Full flaps. All right, 60 knots. Get us back here. Good, awesome. All right, my controls for a second. Your controls. We're way high. Okay. Oh, look at our slip here. Okay. All right, your controls. My controls. Your controls. Nose down, nose down. Now start the flare. There you go. All right. Touch so and go. Touch and go. Car beats off. Flaps are all the way down. Power is all the way in. Watch those rudders. Airspeed is alive. Pretty good. Just uh, be aggressive if we're high, you need okay. to get us get us down. And don't be afraid to use that slip. Okay. I want you to use the slip next time if you if you feel like we're high like that. It's just it's so a very good landing though. Very good. So it felt really stable when we were coming in once yeah. we got down where Alternate we needed to be. Information golf now current, altimeter two nine or eight nine or two nine or eight nine just put that in that. You don't have to say anything. Just say, just put it in. Before Juliet, right close, drop approved. Just say right close, 7348 Juliet. Right closed? Yep. Right closed, uh, Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Keep keep checking out just a little bit more. Yeah, 2 9 or 8 9 and then go ahead and clear right here. All right, clear right. Very important that we're making square patterns here with these with these guys. Clear right, okay. clear right. Clear right. Take a look at the runway. Okay, gotcha. That was down a little bit. And now, somewhere right in here, okay, make, make you downwind. Right turn. Very good. Um, see that other runway right there? Yep. This one's closed, this middle one. But it's very oh, important gotcha. that we're making really good patterns because we don't want to transgress into that other runway. Gotcha. All right, run your checklist. 84 Juliet, runway 18, clear for the option. Win 1804. Clear for the option. 18, clear the option. 18, clear for the option. Cherokee 7348 Juliet. Good. Run your checklist. All right, so. Um, so, a few of them still on, lane lights are on, make sure you set the best power. Thing looks good there. Seatbelts are on, fuel select the valves, the right tank. 1300 on the pattern altitude. Okay, so we're there. We'll pull that power back a little bit. Alright, pull it back a little bit. So Adam uh, Tower, FA maintenance. So we're already cleared the option. FA maintenance, Adam's Tower. Adam Tower, FA maintenance. Power back. Let's get, hey, I need let's to get, get on the uh, runway uh, 22 left, 4 right, uh, to the down. threshold. So we replace the lights. Alright, so we're being... Okay, maintenance, proceed on to right. runway 22 left. There's not to flaps. Understand, proceed on runway 22 left. Alright, pitch it for 70. Let's do our best to not be high this time. Okay. Alright, so we drive it up just a little further. Clear right. And I tell you what, let's, we're turning on time, so let's go ahead and lower all the flaps. Okay. That'll keep us from being high. That'll help us get down faster. This plane is very, very capable. It's capable of getting down really, really fast. Gotcha. Um, it's a little bit different than a Cessna in that aspect. Cessnas, you're kind of stuck with what you got a lot of times. And they're even they're kind of gentle, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to turn a little bit early since someone was pushing us. Yeah, sounds good. That's a good decision. Okay, clear right. We already cleared the option. He cleared us way back here on downwind. Okay. Things I'm thinking about were already cleared, especially in towered airspace. Uh, we have gear down. That's the other one. We're not in a retract, but... Right, so we're gonna descend a little bit. So, so how high should we be, like, when we pass those trees in that road right there? I mean, should we be, you Okay, know, so here, let's use the pappies. What are the pappies telling us? Let's just use the pappies. Okay. Pappies are saying four white. What does that mean? I'm not sure. Four white means we're high. Okay. Two white, two red. That's good. Four red, you're dead. Okay. So check out a look at our airspeed. All right, so it's so we're pitching for, for power for altitude, pitch for airspeed. Remember that. 
And before you get too slow, pitch back down. Yeah, you're getting slow. Okay. Pitch this way down there. You always want to lead those big changes like that. There you go. We're still high. Okay. Okay. So get us down. We're left to center line. Get over to the right. We're gaining a ton of airspeed. Pitch up. More gentle corrections. Come back right just a little bit. Very gentle. Keep this coming down. Catch go. Off. Catch go. Power down. Power is. Very good. Airspeed is alive. Okay, my controls for a second. Your controls? That's very good. That was Just better. Gentle control inputs. Those are my big things. And another thing I really want to you to focus on. As soon as you touch down, you're you're kind of not flying the airplane anymore. Okay. I want you to prioritize the rudders when we land. Because we're kind of going like this. Right. Back and forth. Yep. Um, when we touch down, I want you to prioritize the rudders, take a breath, and prioritize that. Okay. And then do the touch and go procedures. Um, because we're kind of getting squirrely there. Okay. All right, your controls. My controls. Keep us climbing to 1300, your controls. My controls. Very good, there. That's a really good landing. I didn't even touch the controls on that one. Let's try it out a little bit more. Okay. So, standard patterns, 300 feet. Uh, before. Before pattern altitude. Okay. But if he says uh, make right closed, then you'll go ahead and turn. Watch your airspeed. Red rudder. Low, uh, low airspeed, high power settings, more right rudder. Okay. You can go ahead and clear right. All right, clear right. Nose down, watch your airspeed. So people think that the base to final turn is the most dangerous, um, but in reality it's the crosswind turn because you're pulling more Gs than when you're turning base to final. So it's very important on the crosswind turn, clear right, that you are staying at a good airspeed. You're more, more likely to stay back here than you are over there. Really? So just be really cognizant of that. All right, we got some clouds here. We're staying well away from those. Okay. But that's two landings. Let's try to get two more and then we'll head back. Okay. So will he have to come back and tell us clear um, for the option again? Yes, we okay. need to hear that every single time. Okay. Now, if we were going to land, uh, we need to hear. So here's what's weird. Clear the option means you can do a few things. You could technically do a stop and go. You could full stop land. Um, you could do a touch and go. Cherokee 4 Juliet, runway 18, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 18, Cherokee 7348, Juliet. Well, level off here. Um, but run your checklist for me. Okay, so okay. fuel tank, signals are on, fuel tank's on, right tank. Um, Back and power out a little bit. Fuel pump is on, landing lights are on, mixture set to best power, car beat is off. Alright, let's start descending. We've got some clouds up here, I don't want to go into those. Okay. Alright, so we're beating the numbers, we're going to... Yep, go ahead and lower all the flaps. Okay. Just so we get below those, that little layer there. All the flaps are coming in. The white arc. Drive it out a little ways here. Um, but anyways, so... Okay, so we got quite the option. Uh, but it helps them if you're more specific on what you want. Clear okay. the option. They usually like, um, if you if you are going to full stop, they would rather hear you say uh, full stop. That what, that lets them know so they can build spacing for other aircraft. Gotcha. Clear right. Clear right. Watch your airspeed. Pitch for 70. So, so do we do we need to make a, a, a base call? Nope. He's already cleared us. Okay. So we're if, if he hadn't said anything to us yet, we would for sure want to do that. All right. Pitch down. Pitch down. Don't let me get slow here. Hey, maintenance, Adams Tower. Oh. I turn early hey, hey, maintenance. Hey, maintenance, exit runway 22 left. I understand, exit runway 22 left. Very high. Okay. Look at those pappies. Okay. And this is something, if you ever forget, you can do as well. A tower 4 Juliet, confirm clear to uh, option 1A. For 4 Juliet, affirmative, runway 1A, clear for the option. 1A, clear to option 4 Juliet. All right, so we have a slip at our advantage, so okay. put that aileron into the wind. What are the, what's the wind sock showing? I don't see the wind I sock. Don't either. I think the winds are actually coming out of the, off the right. So give yourself a little bit of right aileron, left rudder. Adam okay. Tower, FA maintenance clear of runway to the left. FA maintenance rudder. Leave that airspeed off. Okay. Out of power. Get us down. 
You're still flying. All right. I'm just helping you with the slip here. There you go. Now start coming out of the slip. Try to close those rudders. Much better. All right, so flaps down, car repeat off, power is all the way in, airspeed is a lot. Adam Sarah, it's guys 4637, ready yeah, for the We had a little bit of a pop-in landing. It was a yeah, tight right. but you did it all on your end, and then you prioritize the rudders when you touch down. I'm more one. concerned about that than like the perfectly the smooth landing. But that was very good. This will be the last one we'll go back. We've okay. got some clouds here that are kind of that are showing up. Okay. We're going to stay lower in the pattern this time. Stay low? Yeah, stay, uh, we'll, we'll probably stay at like 1100 and I'll, I'll let Tower know that we're going to we're gonna head back to North Little Rock after this one. Turkey 48 Juliet, make right close traffic. Right close for 18, Cherokee 7348 Juliet. And Tower, this will be our last uh, touch and go here. Um, we're going to head back to North Little Rock after this one if it works for you guys. Turkey 48 Juliet, Roger. That was 4637, runway 22 left, clear for takeoff, flyer, runway heading. Runway heading, 22 left, clear for takeoff, sky west, 4637. Clear right. Clear. So if he says close, uh, close, uh, close traffic, does that, mean, does that mean we need to turn right that sooner? Means, yeah. He's expecting you to turn if he gives you, go, goes ahead and gives you close like that. Gotcha. You never want to turn sooner than 400 feet above the ground, but um, he's just telling you you can turn and make a normal pattern, is what okay. he's telling you. Gotcha. With that climb coming, looks like those clouds came up a little bit, so we're going to be fine on this pattern. Okay. Cherokee 48 Juliet, runway 18, cleared for the option. Runway 18, cleared for the option. Cherokee 7348 Juliet. And Tower 48 Juliet, you just want us to depart on a right downwind uh, following this one. Turkey 4A Juliet, yeah, just stand by, I gotta coordinate with uh, departure. Copy 4A Juliet. That was 4637, flight heading chronic departure, good day. Heading 260 to departure, Skyway. So Roger, Skyway. Skyway. Thanks, good day. The White Orc. Okay. It's bumpy today. It is, it's getting bumpier as we're kind of progressing here. Alright, so seatbelts on, tanks on the right tank, landing, or fuel pumps on, landing lights on, car peaks off. Uh, make sure you rest power. Turkey 48 Juliet on the go, maintain VFR out of below 2,000. Departure frequency is going to stay with me and remain your current squawk. Out of below 2,000 with you on departure and current squawk. 734 Juliet. Turkey 48 Juliet, right down when departure is approved on the go. Right down when on the go and uh, confirm cleared option 18, 734 Juliet. Permanent runway 18, clear for the option and right down when departure is approved on course North Little Rock. Clear option 18 on departure, right down, wind 18 on course, North Little Rock, 734 Juliet. Alright, get us down, get us down. Idle power. Watch your airspeed, pitch down. Adam Tower, FA minus. Pitch, pitch down, pitch down, pitch down, pitch down. Adam Tower, FA minus. I don't want to get slow. Can I get pitch back down. on uh, runway 22 left? Yeah, Bring that nose back up. Right. Right. So, catching that. Maintenance, proceed on to runway 22 left. Which is the option. Understand, proceed on runway 22 left. Don't feed that power in, we're still high. Don't feed it in? Not quite. Look, we got four whites. Okay. Wait till you see one one red and then start feeding it back in. Okay. Pitch up, leave that airspeed off. I think those pappies might be off. I'm like, <laughs> they're, That's not, just not, they're not changing. Yeah, we won't use those. I don't think they're working right. Uh, Someone come back to the right just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, this is way better right here. This is a good glide slope to hit those thousand foot markers or the captain's bars as I like to call them. This is much better, much better. Okay. Be aggressive in the beginning and then you could just kind of chill here down at the bottom. You see what I mean? Right. We are clear to option. I feel like we're a little bit slow. No, we're, we're right on, we're a little fast actually. This okay. is good. Alright. Pull the power to idle when we cross the... Don't relinquish those controls when we touch down. All right, ups are down. Our beats off. Power. Airspeed is coming alive. Very good. Very good. 
It was a great landing. You just you did just kind of the same thing. You kind of relinquished the controls, and you kind of have to go. You also need to put aileron into the wind. That will help you as well. Yeah. Like I'm giving it right rudder to pull it back to the right, yeah. but it just seems to always. When you touch down, you need like you initially need quite a bit of um, to put quite a bit of aileron right. into the wind. Right. But also, I don't want to do it too fast, or that'll throw us obviously sideways. So it, it's dude. This was a really awesome lesson. Let's go do that back and do one more at Northwood Rock. Okay. And uh, I, you're actually really close to solo now. Like this, that, this was a really, this tells me you're really close. I mean, we still got a tiny bit more work to do. Right. I really don't want to see that wobbling right. after we touch down. Uh, but you're, you're definitely getting into the safe and proficient range, and I, that's the key. I feel like that one, I helped um, straighten it back out before we touched down. It yeah. wasn't in such of a crab. Right. Tower FA maintenance, we are clear of runway 22 lift. Okay, so FA maintenance, Roger. our clearance was to maintain out of below 2,000, right. make right downwind on course North Little Rock. Simulate that we're doing a pattern here, okay. so there right downwind for 1-8, okay. and we're just going to go straight to North Little Rock. Um, and what we're going to do, I'm going to get the weather so you keep flying. Okay. One, zero. Sky condition scattered at 7,000. Temperature. Two five Celsius dew point two three Celsius altimeter two nine or eight eight inches of mercury per mile density altitude two two zero zero lightning distant north Turkey and Julia, no remain west of the runway one eight uh, extended center line traffic and a left face for runway one eight a Learjet at two thousand. We'll remain west of the center line for seven three four eight Juliet searching for traffic. He's just telling us to don't transgress into the runway there. Okay. Did weather observation one four one five Zulu. Wind two one zero at six knots. Visibility more than one. Let's land on two three. Okay. And so what we'll do is we're going to overfly, and we're going to we're going to overfly the field at pattern altitude, so we'll climb up to sixteen hundred. Okay. After we get over these under these clouds here. And then uh, we'll just enter a, a right downwind for 2-3, land 2-3. Okay. I got the radios. They're kind of tricky right now because we have to talk on both. Gotcha. So is the... Is for you, Juliet, that traffic's no factor. Report North Little Rock in sight. North Little Rock's in sight for 734 Juliet. Clear for you, Juliet. Roger. Frequency change approved. Change approved. 734 Juliet. See ya. Thanks for the help. No problem. Have a good day. Good day. So the reason it's getting so bumpy due to the... Yeah, we just got some... Due to, uh, like, the air density, is that... or, or no? Um, I'm not sure what's causing it today, today to be honest. Gotcha. Okay, so, see the red pappies? Yep. We're gonna go to the right of those and fly over and enter a downwind. Okay. So, let's climb up to 1600. Okay. Let's just, actually, let's just stay here. Yeah. Alright. I'm switching over to COM2. We're talking on the bottom one now. Okay. South Little Rock traffic, Cherokee 7348, Juliet. Uh, about three miles to the south, we're going to be overflying 2-3 and entering a right downwind for 2-3. North Little Rock. As in instruments, south ILS 2-2 left, RNAV 1-8. So, I messed up when I, we didn't do it after, after, after landing. Check the door, check the door, check the door, check the Okay. Landing lights. Turn the landing lights on. Bravo okay. Delta Adams Tower, runway 1-8, clear for takeoff, term right heading 2-6-0. 1A clear for takeoff, right turn, 260. I'm intentionally staying on with these guys because I want to make sure that I never did see. He said no factor, but um, I just want to listen to him. Sure. But this, what we're doing now is we're going to enter a right down one. This is the uh, alternate method, and, but I'm using the alternate method because um, teardropping will get us close to that other airspace gotcha. up there. Gotcha. And so we're going to overfly this field, but we're landing on 2-3. Yep, okay. Like, okay. So we are at pattern altitude, so I'm going to Roger. bring it back to power just a smidge to about 2,500 RPMs. Hey, you can show me what you got, man. Give me a smooth touchdown here. Slow us down. Slow us down? Slow us down. Oh, slow us down. No for the rock, Cherokee 7348, Juliet. Overflying 2-3, we're going to be entering a right downwind for 2-3. 1,600, no for the rock. Alright. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put one notch of flaps in. We are yep, we're in the wide arc. The wide arc. Honestly, I might go ahead and put another notch in. I feel like we're fine. Uh, just stay right here. Okay. We're not even going to beam my touchdown point yet. Okay. So 
Hitch up a little bit. All right. Finish that checklist out. I see boats on, landing, uh, shield sector is on the right tank. Shield pump on, landing like they're on, car beats off. Make sure best power. Already got our first notch of collapse. Okay. Keep rolling us out here. All you right. could you could lower another one and then turn. Okay. So I was going to ask you about that. Is there, is it? But right here is technically when you should be turning. Okay. But you're having a problem getting down, so go ahead and turn and lower all the flaps. All right. You're right. Clear. Give me a radio call. Uh, North Little Rock is Cherokee 7348, uh, right, uh, base for runway 23, North Little Rock. Ah, uh, this thing's digging, this little button on my hat's digging in my head. I'm going to go third notch of flaps here. Gotcha. I think so. I'm actually going to turn. So these, let's use these Vassies. Okay. What are these Vassies telling us? We're high. Yeah. North Little Rock is Cherokee 7348. Final runway 23, North Little Rock. That one on the right's turning pink. Now we're right on glide slope. Feed that power in so we don't go past okay. it. I'm going to come back to the right just a little bit. So okay. we're miss center line. I still feel like we're a little bit high. No, we're perfect. Look at the Vassies. Okay. So it doesn't matter how I feel. <laughs> so when I'm teaching you normally, I've been, we're aiming for the threshold. But now this is the Vassies will take us right beside them. Does that make sense? Right. Now we're getting low. So put a little power. A little power. That's fine. Now we'll just land. Abandon them somewhere right in here. Okay. Back to the middle of the runway. Flaps all the way down. Car heat's still off. Gonna taxi. Okay. My controls. Your controls. I'm just doing this to, so we can talk and get stopped here. What you did was we flared just a little bit high, yep. and then that air speed bled off like really fast, and then we sank down, and then we plopped in. So just a little bit smoother on the roundout, and then uh, that's it. But it was fine. We touched down, we didn't die. I didn't get on the controls, so yeah, um, the it's controls. Been, it's been worse. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. I've seen worse. North Rock is Cherokee seven three four eight. Clear runway two three at Foxtrot North Rock. Don't forget, we're for Juliet. And also, run your after landing checklist. Alright, so fuel pumps off, landing off, flaps are down, ready to taxi. Okay. 